In this short tutorial, I'm going to show you how to blend images to form a nice classic looking background for your flyers whenever you are designing, for instance, a flyer for church service or whichever poster that you are designing, alright? So I'll, I'm going to show you in a very simple way, alright? So let's get started. <laughs> So let's go ahead and just delay this test over here since we are not going to use it and let's change our image size to the YouTube thumbnail for the sake of this tutorial. So having done this, the next thing to do is to change the background and we'll be using white for this background. So we pick color then we select white. So I have downloaded three images that is one of anointing oil, one of Jesus Christ on the cross, and one of people worshipping. Alright, so I'm going to blend these three images together to form a background for a flyer. Alright, so let me just go ahead and import the first image, which will be the anointing oil. So I just have to click on import, then select the image. So here is the image being selected. You click on a check mark. And you have it over here now go ahead and increase the size of the image to fill the entire working area so once you are satisfied with it just place it right here then reduce the opacity of it a bit i think this is okay then you click on a check mark and you go up, go ahead and lock this layer having locked it import the next picture that you will be using so let's click on import Let's click on import and we import the second picture which probably would be that of the people worshipping. So you click on a check mark, you stretch it a bit to fill the working area as well. So having done it like this, the next thing is to erase part of it. This is the most important aspect for you to take note of. So you just have to erase part of it. So having clicked on an eraser just reduce the opacity of the eraser such that if you clear part of it it will not look hard all right this is the hardness the slider i'm moving about is the hardness of eraser if it is at this place when i erase it will look hard all right but when i move it to the other end if i erase part of the image it will not look hard like the first one i hope you can see the difference between the two so always make sure that your hardness of the eraser is reduced all right now you can increase the size of the eraser that is if you want to clean a larger portion of your work at a go all right so let me do that quickly So having done it like this, the next thing to do is just click on a check mark right here. So we have the work here and all that we have to do is to reduce the opacity of it as well. So we click on opacity then we play around it till we are satisfied. So I think this is okay for me. Then I have to click on a check mark right here. Now I have to also lock the layer so that if I'm importing the next one, it will not distract me. Now let's go ahead and import that of Jesus Christ on the cross. So let's do that quickly. So here is a picture that I have downloaded. The next thing to do is to click on a check mark as well. So we have it right here. And we are going to erase part of it as well. So let's click on eraser. Then we increase the then we reduce the hardness of the brush which is the eraser all right then increase the size as well then you go ahead with your cleaning you do it fast that is if you want to you do it slowly if you want to be careful with your cleaning so having it like this the next thing to do is you just click on a check mark then you are good to go we can go ahead and reduce the size of the picture, put it at the corner over here, if you like. Then you go ahead and reduce the opacity of it, just to blend with the background. 
all right so i think this is okay then you just have to click on a check mark all right so this is a simple background that you can prepare for your design all right it doesn't necessarily mean that you should use these images that i've used but whichever image that you have seen that you want to design all right if you should want to design a flyer you need to look for the image that will switch the message that you want to put across all right let's say you are designing for athletics or whatever you need to get these sporting images and put into your background i hope you are getting this in very clear all right so the next thing to do is to probably input some text that's if you are going to uh, design a flyer you surely put some messages on the flyer so let's assume we have church abc all right this is just an imaginary church um kind of presenting here all right so abc church abc church all right it's not any church this is for tutorial sake educational purpose only not any other thing so church abc let me change the font and if you've not downloaded all of my fonts yet i would advise you to check the link in the description because i've given out all these fonts that you can use all right so i'll use hervetica boot for this church right up so i'll just have to reduce the size of it and put it at the middle right here then i'll also go ahead go and enter another test which probably will be present so let me just do that quickly present then i'll change the font as well so let's see i think i'll go with this one then i'll increase the padding of it so that every part of the test shows all right then put it at the middle like this then you go ahead and change the color of it in this case i'll use a gradient i think i'm okay with this gradient and i'll also go ahead and enter a test which will be like the message So it will be letter 94. Let's assume that's the program the church wants to like hold. So I'll also change the font. Like I said, I'll leave the link in the description so I'll go ahead and download all my fonts. This these are my fonts. Alright, these are the fonts I'm having over 3,000 of them, and each of them has a purpose for its use. Alright. Not every design you'll be using the same fonts. You have to use different different fonts in every different design that you are making depending on the purpose of the design all right so well uh, let me go ahead and click ok because i already selected my font and i will change the color of the font to a gradient one all right so this is okay and i'll just have to probably work on a padding of it a bit to make sure that every part of the test is being shown and also increase the size of the test because this is the main message of the way so it must be emphasized it must be visible to everyone so i'll go ahead and play with the alignment and probably i'll use justify and put the test back to the middle of the work so here is it all right it is here like this and you can go ahead and work on these things all right just make sure that you are creative about it put out a message all right put out a nice message for people to appreciate and you are good to go designing is not about anything this is being done in puzzle lab and in the next tutorial in this series i'll make the similar thing in pixart all right i'll make how to blend images to the background i'll make tutorials on it using pixar so that you can also have a feel of how pixar's own looks like all right and you go ahead and practice it and become perfect with it remember to be creative with your phone this is serene arts please don't forget to subscribe to this channel and 
We hope to see you in the next tutorial. Bless up.